Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to uh, make another blog here to talk about some board gaming stuff I'm doing. Anyway, um, so last weekend I put up a bunch of different random live streams. Um, if anybody wants to check that out, we played Mansions of Madness and it took like three hours with the rules introduction and everything, which is kind of crazy, but it was a lot of fun. It was the first time we played, so I'm sure we made mistakes here and there, but I took it as more of a, a role-playing thing. Um, and we played a bunch of Love Letter and Rampage and stuff, so it was overall a good time, and I have a bunch of live streams of that um, if you want to check out my channel um, to see that stuff. But uh, I want to talk about, uh, I've been painting up my miniatures for Battle Lore 2nd Edition, which is a lot of fun. Um, I'm really hoping to try to get to play it again this weekend, but uh, I've been painting these guys up pretty good. I've posted some of the pictures on Board Game Geek. And I have a lot of work left to do to get them all to be the quality that I want. But, um, but yeah, so this these miniatures look pretty awesome. Um, I've been trying to make sure I get the flocking on the base and everything right, and it's a lot of fun um, trying to get them to look cool. And I've got my stone golem guys all painted up and got the nice little rocks and junk. I'm thinking about trying to do maybe a tutorial on how to paint like these guys, the Flesh Rippers, saying that I haven't painted all of them yet, um, and like go through and show you like the steps of what I do and uh, how to uh, paint it up. So maybe you can do that yourself. Just show you like different, maybe different pictures of the different stages and what to do in each different stage. Might be a lot of fun. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing anything like that. Um, Battle Lore Second Edition is a lot of fun. Um, I've never played any of the other Command and Colors games, but uh, as far as this one goes, it's a lot of fun for like a, a light game. There seems to be a decent amount of randomness with the die rolls, but it's all about tactics and trying to figure out how to get your guy onto the objectives and, and hold them. And I really like the way the scenario cards work together. It's a, it's a whole lot of fun. So if you get a chance, you should watch some of the people's reviews on Battle Wars 2nd Edition or maybe like some other stuff. And uh, maybe I can get somebody over to try to do, like, a, a Let's Play of it. It would be a lot of fun. Um, also, I want to talk about a game that I've been watching, like, all week. And I've been watching it since December, or the first time I heard about it. Um, but uh, the Marvel Dice Masters game, it looks like a whole lot of fun. It's basically like Couriers, if you've ever played that mixed with Magic the Gathering. So instead of just having your guys out there and they automatically attack, there's a little bit of strategy. You're trying to take your opponent's life down, and the dice just look really awesome. Loki with that bright green and, and Venom. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I think this is the stuff that comes in the starter set. Um, you get eight different characters. It's like a two-player starter set, and I think you get two dice for each one. And I'm not sure, but I think these are the characters that you get in the starter set, which would be Iron Man, Beast, Storm, um, the Human Torch, Hulk, Captain America, Thor, and Spider-Man. And it, it's supposed to be Marvel versus Avengers, so it seems kind of strange that you would have odd numbers, but I've seen several pictures with this exact same like game setup. But uh, the, the starter set comes with I think 44 different dice, or maybe 40 dice, and uh, you get two of each of the characters and three cards for each of the characters, which will all have different special abilities, and then you get a bunch of these like special action dice, which are more like your your spells and magic or your spells and couriers, and um, they should be a lot of fun um, playing with that. Um, this game is also collectible, which is kind of like uh, a collectible game when I really want to play that played a bunch of Magic the Gathering, and it was so expensive to play. But this game seems like it might be a little bit more casual with the randomness of the dice a lot going on. But the uh, the starter set retails for $15, $14.99, and then each of the booster packs are $0.99. Cents. Um, so I don't feel like it's that big of a deal to uh, pay, at least to get the starter set for this. So try it out, and if they have these booster packs at uh, Target, it's going to be crazy, because I walk in there, I have a dollar. Quite often, I have a dollar that I can spend. 
So if they get these into like the mass market stores like they've gotten with other like the little hero clicks, they have like the singles packs and they're in targets a lot and things like that. If they have those in target with the uh, booster packs that have two dice and uh, two cards, um, I'll probably pick up a few of those. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about that game. If anybody has any games that they're excited about or they want to talk about, feel free to um, post it in the comments and um, let me know what you guys think. Also let me know what you guys would like me to talk about. Um, I'm hoping to put some more reviews up soon. Hopefully I can get that Dice Masters game. It doesn't come out until April now. They keep pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. So, And I think the April date isn't even firm yet. So I'm tired of watching people talk about it and post pictures of them playing it and not being able to get a hold of it. That's the way it is. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have anything that you're excited about, let me know. Um, and also uh, let me know what guys games you guys have been playing. Just hit me up. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit me up on Twitter if you want to. It should be fun. Anyway, hope you guys have a lot of fun. Peace.